I'm excited for this video, let's see what you guys have done and what photos you have sent me. Whoa, hello and welcome to today's video and in today's video I am editing your photographs. Now first off I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone for submitting their photographs. It means a lot and I can't believe so many of you wanted me to edit your photographs so that is awesome. And um, what we're going to do is just jump straight in and begin editing the photos. Now, our very, 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 very first photo to edit is sent to us by Guhi. Hopefully, I am saying your name correctly. If I do butcher your name or anybody's name, I deeply apologize. So, Guhi has sent us this photo of a butterfly and says, I'm a butterfly photographer in high school living in South Korea. I love your photos, especially your wildlife shots, and recently got to know that you were on YouTube. I was amazed by your video quality and I'm watching them all one by one. Well, thank you very much for saying that, Guhi. It means a lot, and I'm really glad you like my photos and my videos. Your editing skills are amazing and it would be an honour if you get to edit one of my photographs. Well, here I am, I'm editing one of your photographs, uh, amazing submission and can't wait to see what I can do with it. So with this photograph, I really did like the whole idea of it. It works really nicely together. The background, the animal, the insect in this case, it just blends together really nicely and one thing I really wanted to push for with this image in particular was just bringing the, out the colours of the inset, making the background a bit, a bit darker with the blacks and just allow it to stand out that much more. With this image, a lot of the changes at the start came with the basic settings, changing the exposure a little bit, bringing up the highlights, further changing some of the whites just to bring out that colour and I also changed some of the black levels as well. As well I also added a bit of clarity and I also added a bit more vibrancy just to boost those colours a lot more. So one thing I did with this image was I did remove the blues and the aqua which were a little bit apparent on the insect itself just so I could then boost the oranges a lot more and make them stand out. It wasn't the most noticeable difference but just changes it that small amount and that has had a great effect on the the insect itself on the butterfly's wings on the tree on the branch and it just works and blends really nicely together I think. I also made some changes with the tone curves I changed some parts with the highlights and the shadows but nothing too major just little changes here and there. I did play around to see if the black levels would be good at a higher level but I decided to just change it a little bit and not add too much because I think it just took away from the image and that is not what I wanted to do with this fantastic photograph. And now we have got the perfect separation between the background and the inset and the colours are just punching us, they stand out and I really do like this image. And yeah, I'm really happy with where this edit went and hopefully you also like this edit. So this was the before shot and this was the after. I hope you do like the shot. Uh, thank you for your submission. Guhi, keep up the hard work, hope everything goes well at high school, and yeah, thanks once again for your submission. We are on a roll already, these are some fantastic photographs, who should we choose next? I choose Jose. So our next submission is from Jose, and Jose said, Hey Curtis, send me over a couple of photos for you to edit. Even if you don't use mine, I can't wait to see the video. Have fun. Well, yours are being used. It was a really nice photograph, and I really feel like I could take this a long way and knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. And I just love the sunset. I love the graduated colour and the separation from the orange all the way to the purpley and the blues. Really worked really nicely. Great shot. And yeah, let's begin editing it. So with this photograph, a lot of it was to bring out the colours at first, really add that punchiness. It really does have the colours already cemented in there and what we just have to do really in this image is bring them to life and add a bit of colour, that be from the basics with extra vibrancy, picking out certain colours like the oranges and the yellows and selecting those uh, selectors and sliding them up a little bit more all the way from the calibration where I have made some changes with the reds and the blues just to give it a bit more punchiness and allow it to stand out. 
In this image, I actually did actually play with the magentas a bit more because I liked how it went from the oranges to the magenta colors. It worked really nicely, blended together, and it's just a stunning sunset. I decided as well, ultimately, with this image, I was debating with it for a while, was to go four by five with the Instagram aspect ratio of it. Now, this did mean I cut out the tree a little bit, but there was a theory to my madness you may say. Um, my theory was, or my idea was, one thing that really distracted me from this image in particular was the telegraph pole or the phone lines in the background. Because you got such a great photo of like these four palm trees, the, telegra the telephone line just ruined it for me and didn't make it stand out as much. So what I wanted to do was remove that completely. So I went into Photoshop set it obviously to 4x5 and then just started working on it. Now I use both the patch tool and the clone tool to slowly remove the lines and eventually was able to successfully get to a place where I was really happy. In the background as well I also personally decided to remove the motorway and those headlights that were coming from there because it was distracting a little bit like just to my left hand side of the photo all I could see was a few car headlights right in the background but if I just moved them I think it just changed the image and allowed that main focus to stay on those subjects right there another thing as well was this tree to the right hand side which just was like peeking in trying to sneak into the photograph and i was just like now get out of here so i decided to also remove that as well and then it worked really nicely and this was the final photograph um again the main changes came from the color just adding a bit more color adding that punchiness adding that vibrancy and then just removing the telegraph pole in Photoshop and overall this image just stands out. It's really nice. I'm really happy with it Definitely reminds me of something like from Miami Vice or something like that is a really nice look to it It's just fantastic great shot and keep up the fantastic work Jose and thank you for your submission I also got a submission from someone from my course. Uh, his name is Malfa He was an exchange student and joined us very briefly, but sadly due to everything had to go back home Malfa says hey Curtis. I recently joined your short film project Project course at York St. John, but unfortunately had to travel back to Denmark because of everything that has happened. Well, I hope you're home safe with family and keeping busy, and you certainly seem like you're keeping busy because you sent me over some of your awesome photographs. But it says, but now I have plenty of time to work on my photography and especially my product photography. So here's some raw files from my recent shoot of random products. Also, Thank you for sending your photos and thank you for sending them in raw as well. That is really awesome. The image I decided to edit was an old film camera because, well, it's an old film camera. I really liked how the shot was composed, put together the old film strips in the background, the old film cartridge, I think that's what it's called. Overall, the composition of this shot just looks really cool, really nice. I like the background as well. We've chosen the perfect background for it. And yeah, just a fantastic photograph. But one thing I really wanted to do was get a vintage look. I really feel like a vintage look would look really nice here. So I applied one of my presets and at first it was too underexposed. It was very dark and I didn't like it. So I just boosted up the exposure a little bit. And that's the good thing with presets. Presets are never going to get you straight away there 100%. They're going to always get you... A, a part of the way there and then all you have to do is just make some tweaks and to get to that final destination get to that final image and that final look and with this one i was able to successfully really get to that end result so i made some further changes with the whites the shadows brought them up a little bit and just got some of that punchiness out of the image to change the tint of this image i changed it more from the purple magenta side to the green side a little bit more just so it had a bit more of a balance because i think the background was a little bit too overpowering with all the reds and the red hues and then with the tone curves, I did add the black levels a little bit shallower than where they began with because I think it was just a bit too overpowering and I didn't like the way it looked. But the tone curves didn't have any other changes from that apart from what came with the preset already. Then I changed the calibration, added a little bit more red primary colours with the hues and added a little bit more saturation and it brought out that background a little bit more but also isn't too overpowering. It gives it a nice balance and I feel like it's getting to that real nice vintage look. Make some final changes with the green primaries and blues and then we're able to then get this final image right here which I am really happy with. I was really happy with where this photo started from and where I've ended with and hopefully Malfa you like that image. I really do like where I've been able to take it. It's a fantastic photograph and I'd like to say a massive thank you for allowing me to edit this photograph and sending a few of them across. Keep up the hard work buddy and stay safe. 
So my next submission is from Alvin, and Alvin says, I'm a 14-year-old amateur photographer, and these are two of my recent shots. The photo I have chose to edit is this one of a Porsche. I don't know what model it is, or I, all I can tell is by the alloy, it is an RS model, but it's an absolute awesome photograph. I love the composition with this. You've chose to do it vertical, which is fantastic, because this will work straight on Instagram, straight away. Really nice photograph, and I like what you have done with the composition of the shot. So one thing I'm going to do straight away is apply a preset, and if you wanted to, you could leave the image right here, but I'm just going to make some final adjustments to make it stand out that little bit more. First of all, I'm going to make it 4x5 for Instagram aspect ratio, and that just works a lot better. I'm going to make some changes with the highlights and the exposure and then I'm going to go over to the calibration and what I'm going to do is remove some of the blues. There are some blue like tints in there that I want to remove because I want it to almost be like a black and white photograph but it's not because the one colour I really want to stand out in this image is that orange brake caliper right there. I want that to be a really key focus in this photograph and then everything else just builds up around it and just stands out. I was also tempted as well with a tree in the background to remove it but what I decided instead was just to turn down the greens a little bit so it wasn't too overpowering but I think it just looks a lot better and gives it some background interest. Alvin, I would like to say this is an absolutely fantastic photograph. Keep up this fantastic work. Once I applied that preset, that I knew that this photo was just going to be an absolute banger. The photo itself is really nicely composed, it's really sharp, it really works and amazing work mate on this photograph. Um, keep up the exceptional work and thank you for allowing me to edit this awesome photograph. I think it's in contention of actually being the thumbnail for this video. So massive thank you and yeah, keep it up. Our next photo is sent over to us by Craig and Craig says Hi Curtis, it'll be fun to see what you could do with this Astro shot. Any tips would be greatly appreciated too. He says, I'd love to see how far you could push these. And he says the camera that he shot it on was a Sony A6300 with a full frame 24mm f1.4 GML lens. That is a hell of a lens, amazing work. And this photograph really does stand out. But in terms of changes, all I really feel like I need to do with this photograph is just bring out the stars, bring it out a little bit more and this image will just pop. So what I think you've done with this photograph, I might be wrong here, is I think you've done the underexposed to expose technique. Basically, if you don't know what this technique is, is at night, obviously you don't want to be shooting at a really high ISO because it's just going to introduce unnecessary noise to your photograph. So what you can do is actually underexpose the photograph in camera, just so then when you get into Lightroom, you could just bump up the exposure slider and get it back to a really nice state without introducing grain or noise to your photograph. So I think this is what you've done with this one. Might be wrong, but what I was able to do immediately and we can see the difference is just bump up that exposure and we can just see how much more this image just comes to life and stands out. Then what I've also done is use the clarity to actually bring out some of those stars in the background and then use the dehaze to kind of combat that cloud and it allows the stars just to come out and shine and really show this night sky in all its glory. With this photograph with the hues I added a little bit of more blue hues but just didn't really need to make any final adjustments. I did change some of the hues on certain colours but not too much as well because this image just how it is really stands out really works nicely and because it was in raw I was able to use the lens correction and you can see from the edges of the photograph it's able to clear that up really nicely and just make this final image work that much better. Added a final bit of sharpness, make some final changes to the tone curves but nothing too major, just a little bit of change here and there with the highlights and the shadows but very small changes and this was my very final photograph and I hope you do like it Craig. Uh, really thank you very much for sending across this amazing photograph. I just love the whole image as well with like a single man, a tree and the whole night sky. Works really nicely together and this is my final edit and hope you do like it and thank you for allowing me to edit it. Next photo is sent over to us by Marvin. He hasn't given us any information but sent over this awesome photograph of this eye and crane surrounding it. Now, it looks like what you've done is got some like copper strips and then just bent them or something like that and just been able to use blue tack to get this whole effect. I've seen this effect done before, but I've never tried it before but you've nailed it, it looks awesome and great work. So the first thing I did with this image in particular was go with a 4x5 Instagram aspect ratio to make it perfect there. And then what I did was just 
compose the shot so I got the eye of the subject or your model straight in the middle and just works a lot better and allows it to give it that eye catching effect quite literally because there isn't I've uh, never mind moving on crop it in and then all I needed to do right here was just add a little bit more color to certain colors like the orange and the reds and the blues just pump up that color a little bit more but also being careful not to go overboard with the color because it will make the skin tones of the model right here very unnatural and wouldn't work whatsoever if overdone the main changes came from the basic settings where i just changed some of the contrast some of the highlights just the smallest amount because straight out of camera this photo looks fantastic i think i added a little bit more warm tones just a small amount I then changed some of the calibration colors and it really allowed this image to stand out and pop. So overall, I'm really happy with where I was able to push this photograph. You know, not much really needed to be changed because out of camera, it worked really nicely. It was just bumping up some of those colors. Hope you do like this photograph. I'm very happy with it. And yeah, thank you for sharing and great work and keep it up. For our next one, we have got a photo sent over to us by Timont. Timote, I'm terribly sorry if I have butchered your name. It says, Hi Curtis, I'm 15 year old and I'm a new photographer from Switzerland. I shoot with a Canon 250D and all the pictures were taken with a 50 1.8. Great lens to have there, nifty 50. It's a lens I recommend to anyone starting out as a first prime lens. It's not too expensive and you get fantastic results. He says, I've just discovered your channel and really like your photos and creativity. Massive thank you. Really appreciate that. And thank you for sending across a photograph. So he has done this photograph right here of a waving glass and the water effect. Absolutely love this effect. It works so cool. You get so many mixed results. And this result is absolutely awesome. But as well, one thing I would like to point out is you have done this in the golden hours, I believe. And you've also put a mountain in the background. Fantastic work. I mean, that is just taking it to a whole new level. The whole image as well here just works fantastically. The glass works, the pattern works, the mountain works, the gold now works. And I want to captivate that really nicely with the edit. Now, I was very undecided in which direction to go with this photo at first. Do I go more warm with it or do I go more cooler with it or leave it where it is? Ultimately, this I decided to try and do both. So with this photograph, I changed around some of the settings. I brought in some more highlights, a little bit more shadows, but turned down the whites and the blacks a little bit to give it this look. I then decided to play around with the haze and turned it down. Added a small amount of vibrancy, bit of contrast, and turned down the exposure a very small amount. It was then here where I decided to change the colour temperature a little bit, but not too much because I didn't want to go too warm with it. And then decided to play around with the blue primes and got some really nice results. From here, I just changed around and played with some of the colours. And I added a radial filter to the glass itself, just to bring that glass out a little bit more and make it stand out by just adding a little bit of highlights, a little bit of shadows, but nothing too much that it looks overdone or over edited, just a nice little bit to make it stand out. And then the final thing I changed with this photograph right here was I actually added a graduated filter and added some warm tones to it. So it looks like the sunset is coming from this direction because one thing I noticed as well, as well as the mountain range, which you can't really miss, but is that the sun is coming, it seems from this direction and is also bouncing off the glass right here. So I wanted to add a little bit of warm tones from this direction coming down, but not overdoing it, just enough so it stands out, but it doesn't take away from the overall image. And this is what I did. And hopefully you like what I have done. That was the before photo and that was afterwards. It just brings out for me the image a little bit more, adds the blues, but also has the warm tones as well so it has a bit of best of the both so that is all the photos i have got to edit today there were so many submissions i couldn't get through them all so what i would like to do is to continue doing this series maybe every once every few weeks or once a month or every now and then so that i can edit your photographs and you can see how i work if you want me to edit your photograph then keep those submissions coming to the email address right here and hopefully your photo will be featured as well so let's say a massive thank you to everyone who submitted their photographs i hope you do like the final and finished results and also let's say thank you to you at home as well for watching this video i hope you're all staying safe and i hope you did enjoy this video and until next time take care and i'll see you in the next one bye for now Whoa.